you very much. Well, we're, we're, we're really gonna... pleased to uh, be playing up here with uh, our friend Mark Dan, who's a tremendous bass player. You're going to hear him playing with everybody all night long. And our good buddy, Pat Wichter. So please welcome Pat <laughs> on this next song. Now, um, now we, we, we wrote this song a couple of years ago, but uh, it, we've discovered that it we well, thought we, we thought had, we would it like had to come out. Yeah. Right. Uh, we wrote it in 2008, but with what's going on down the Gulf, uh, we decided that we needed to sing it. And you can help us sing it if you can catch on to the words. But we wanted to, to preface this whole song with a, a couple of things that we read today. The three stupidest things said about BP oil spill. Yes, and the three stupidest things said about the BP oil spill were all said by the CEO of BP, <laughs> Tony Hayward. The first one was... The Gulf of Mexico is a very big ocean. The amount of volume of oil and dispersant we are putting into it is tiny in relation to the total water volume. Ooh. And then he also, he went on to say, I think the environmental impact of this disaster is likely to be very, very modest. Ooh. And the last thing that he said was, do I feel that anything I've done, I would have done differently? Not at all. <laughs> and, of course, there are a few other stupid things that have been said about the BP oil spill, but I love this last one, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do it in the voice in which it was probably said and see if you can't guess who said it. Uh, there were good reasons for us to put in offshore drilling. And this terrible accident is very rare in drilling. I mean, accidents happen. You learn from them, and you try not to make sure they don't happen again. <laughs> Those people over in Connecticut, they got what they deserved when they reelected that Joe guy. Joe Lieberman, yes. Um, Welcome so anyway. to the stage also. Reggie Harris is singing Third Part Harmony, beautiful vocal with us, on a song that we are just throwing at you guys. We wrote this song actually for an organization called Oil Change International. And uh, the whole idea was, several years ago, I had a friend tell me, well, you know, it doesn't matter what, uh, what it is. You know, if you want to uh, find out what the source for corruption or, you know, malfeasance, corporate malfeasance or, or environmental degradation or war, all you got to do is follow the money. And then you'll find out. of Congress where it buys the votes. Follow the money till it makes you sick. Slip and you slide on a thick wool slick. Follow the money. Follow the money. Follow the money from the oil can. From Iraq, Nigeria, the Kazakhstan. Follow the money from the tanker boats to the halls of Congress where it buys the votes. Follow the money till it makes you sick. Slip and you slide on the thick oil slick. Follow the money. Follow the money. Our addiction to oil is at the core. Guzzling and guzzling more and more. They keep on drilling to the ends of the earth. How many barrels is a human life worth? How long will it take for us to see? Somebody owns the powers that be. So, yeah, follow the money. Follow the money. Follow the money from the oil can, from Iraq, Nigeria, Kazakhstan. Follow the money from the tanker boats to the halls of Congress where it buys the votes. Follow the money till it makes you sick. Slip and slide on a thick oil slick. Follow the money. Follow the money. Which politicians stand to gain with big oil? Giving big tax breaks and subsidies while our pockets are empty and we're on our knees. BP and Halliburton don't have to comply. They've got the very best Congress oil money can buy. Follow the money. Follow the money. Follow the money from the oil pan from Iraq, Nigeria, Kazakhstan. Follow the money from the tanker boats to the halls of Congress where it buys the votes. Follow the money from where it's 
spent right to the office of the president. Out of the money. Follow the money. 